Good morning, everyone. I wanted to show you the paint. Look what a beautiful job they did. And now having the ceilings white, you can see all these incredible angles. And depending on where you are, let me take you to another room and I'll show you what I mean. So this is all the same color. And you can see this looks, depending on the light, so much lighter than this color. And then having the ceilings white, it, you know, this almost looks like it has some mustard in it. It's all the same color of green. We wanted green to bring the outside in. And I think it looks so pretty. You can't see the color on all of this here, but I'll show you over the fireplace. See how the colors look completely different depending on the angle. I am thrilled with it. They did a beautiful job. So the bathroom has its own toilet room with a door. Um, we always get glass, like the frosted glass in the middle, so we're replacing this door with a frosted glass door so that when you shut it, you can still have some light in there, especially if it's, a, you know, you don't want the bright light of turning it on. So that was already there, but what wasn't there, what wasn't there was some way to close this off completely. And so we've put in this door frame here. Sorry, someone's arriving. And I love all of the angles that Mark did. And we have a door that will get put up. I think that's the architect or the contractor. This is all the mess that we were, came to when we got here. The guys are working and hopefully we'll get those in beside each of the fireplace before we leave today. And I'll show you what they're doing up here. So these are the cool angles you see that Mark got put in. And this is where my girl cave is. And the doors are wide open and let me show you. So it doesn't have any fixtures on it yet, but I can close these completely and I will have privacy. And here's from the outside so you can see that door is open and then that one's closed. So I can have them however I want. And you see what I mean about the yellow tones on the wall versus other areas. It's, sometimes it looks gold, sometimes it looks brown, sometimes it looks green. I just love this paint. It's hard to believe it's all the same color and then the white contrasting ceiling makes it so pretty. And they had to finish, like, where we cut out. I don't know if you remember, but this fireplace came all the way across on both sides. And so where we cut it off, there was no, you know, this was bare on this side. So they did a phenomenal job of blending all this together. I mean, it just looks like it's was built that way. They do uh, incredible, incredible work. I think we started all of this back in December, and I was just talking to the architect before he went upstairs with Mark, and I think we're shooting to be done by March. Mark and I are debating when we're going to get furniture. It's the novelty of glamping <laughs> has worn off, and I will be happy to have a couch. It sounds weird, but when you want to curl up with a cup of tea and a book, I don't really want to sit in a chair. I want a couch. So not only that, but it'll be nice to not have men living in my house. I'm just grateful right now that they show up all the time. But yeah, it's, it's going to be very different once we have this furnished. <laughs> Fantastic. So here's our new tile floor. 
that was at an angle from the fireplace and now we've made it go straight out. We're going to get a window put in here and have the bistro table right below there. This carpet is going to go upstairs and then we're going to put carpet in here. And Mark says this weighs about 400 pounds, so we're not moving that by ourselves. And we're turning this into sliding glass doors that will be like this, and then we'll have the window in the middle. So it's starting to come together. Hey everyone, we're heading out for lunch. It's not too cold out, but we're not taking Birdie. Oh, Birdie is our golf cart, and Miles is the vehicle we leave up here because I only put a couple miles on them every weekend. So anyhow, I think that we'll probably take miles instead of Birdie and so I don't have to dress too warm. I do have a coat. I'm in all different various shades of beige today which I always love. This is a Walmart, is it True Time? Time and True? Something like that. Top and it has a hoodie on the back and we're going to head out for lunch and then it's going to be a chore day. I've already got laundry running, just doing things around here and maybe if it rains this afternoon, which they say it's going to do, I might curl up with a book. So we've just been out in the back 40 collecting manzanita branches and bringing in wood from the fireplace or from the firewood pile and I am going to make a fire and we'll sit around and relax and have a glass of wine before we head out for dinner. So here's my fire. The manzanita makes amazing kindling so it goes up <laughs> like nobody's business, which is why, unfortunately, we have forest fires in northern Arizona. But in the fireplace, it's fantastic. And if anybody's wondering, this is an amazing old-fashioned brick masonry fireplace. They don't make them like this anymore. It's like the chimney sweep when he, we got it cleaned when we first bought the place. He was like, wow, I haven't seen chimneys this good in years. So we will have that roaring in a little bit as we sit in front of there and relax. So we normally have a bird feeder on the end of this big, strong metal stake. But the javelinas have been coming, have bent it over, and are using it as their feeding trough when the bird food falls. Javelinas can be extremely territorial, very aggressive. The males have tusks, and we realize we have this big family living in our neighborhood. So I do not want to encourage them, and I'm no longer going to be putting bird food out. We'll see if that works. The other thing is they dig up a lot of plants. Um, so I put down hot sauce and hot pepper flakes. If anybody has any other suggestions, please let me know.
they scare me. Oh my goodness, and Mark's taking out the garbage. Coyotes don't usually attack people, but javelinas do, and javelinas attack dogs, and we have a problem with our javelinas. Hey everyone, if you hear noise, we have workers in the house. I just wanted to do a quick outfit of the day. It's This is a 360 heat. I got the tops and the pants from Costco, and I sometimes wear them by themselves rather than layering them underneath. They're uh, very, very thin, but they are insulated, so they're warm. So if you just throw something on over top, it keeps you warm. And jeans, and then I've got these boots. Oh, I have to show you this cute bag. My girlfriend got it for me for Christmas. It's book club. Let me turn it around here so you guys can see it. Book club reading between the wines. I thought that was so cute. I use that for um, carrying things up and down the floor so it's easier to get around everywhere. So I have to work today. I have a presentation tomorrow and we'll be heading down. So I don't know, you know, it's just gonna be getting jacuzzi chemicals, everything for when we're gone. And my work isn't very exciting, so this might be it. I don't know if I'll be filming later or not. Mm -hmm. 